everybody welcome to my channel please don't forget to subscribe it does help the channel let me repeat that again don't forget to subscribe all you gotta do click on the subscription thing and the button says subscribe and then you subscribe but you gotta make sure you didn't do it before if you did it before you remove it, you remove it make sure you didn't do it before it does help my channel if you're a new person coming to my channel so you didn't do it Okay, if you're an old person who's been watching my videos, I got a lot of videos, got a lot of views, but nobody's subscribing. It does help the channel when you subscribe. So I'm begging you guys, please subscribe on the subscribe button. You can make comments. You can make, you can talk to me and I will respond to you. Okay? Now, this is an update for going off grid. I've been off grid for the past 90 days plus. If I've been upgraded for the past 90 days plus, and it's upside down, I mean, it's up and down, ups and down, ups and down. When you have the sun, you're doing great. When you don't have the sun, you're in the daytime, you're not doing good. Okay, now, man, let me tell you about the system. Let's, uh, let's talk about Mix Sky Blue. So far, it has done the job. If there was a headache here before, see the black spot? I, I remove it, but you know, it does the job. That was a, I didn't say user error. Okay, that was user error. It wasn't tied up. And uh, I touched the same multiple times, and it was laying on the, on the table, on, on, on the bench. It does create some spot. But if I did it right, like this one, it wouldn't give me that problem. Okay you guys, next time we'll, will I recommend it? They lie about a bunch of stuff in that, in that thing there. It does do the job though. But they said you can put a lot of panels in there, you cannot. The maximum panel you can put in series is only two. Only two. I mean, uh, I got 300 watts. I put, uh, I think, 36, 46 volts, something like that. This thing can, can only take two volts. You only take two panels. So I mean, they lie about this stuff. I called the manufacturer, they give me a, a, somebody to help me and they, everything I tell them. I even send him the video. He doesn't reply. He doesn't because you know this thing doesn't work. So anyway, that thing get the power from the from from the solo those are h gauge wire okay guys those are h gauge wire okay. i believe uh this is 10 or 8 no they're 8 gauge wire they're the same wire in here 8 gauge wire then in the tank is attached to the to the battery okay then we have that big thing making a lot of noise in here guys it's massive this is a pretty big Power jack inverter, nine kilowatt. I'm confident this thing can run the whole house, but I don't know yet. So I, I don't know. I said I don't know because so far it hasn't failed. Somebody had it and uh, put it on eBay and sold it to me for about uh, seventy-five percent of the, the, the real price, and I took it. Then I found out every one of them, every every power jack that I had, they all burn out. So I couldn't ship this thing yet to my home country. You see all the noise it makes? For some reason, oh, it came like that. The 220 works, the one thing doesn't. Okay? It doesn't. Maybe they put a screen there and they don't put nothing. And so they make you believe it's something. I'll take it up, take it apart and see. If it's true, they the type of people to do that. They tell you a uh, maximum voltage, nine thousand watt, and then next thing you know, you you put some charge on it, you put some load on it. <laughs> you tell something different. So this thing has two fans, one fence here, and two on the back, guys. Two on the back. So those three fans running constantly. Let me show you guys. At the end of this video, I'm gonna shut this thing off 
and turn it back on again, right? Okay, I turn it back on again. The fence turn off now. Okay. That hum you hear is from the big trans trans transformer. The true big transformer is inside of it. Okay, so it's it's it is what it is. It will kick in again. And uh, believe me, it wasn't hot at all today in New York. For some strange reason, this thing's always hot. But hey, 90 days running, I can't complain, man. If it wasn't for that, I would have my power turned on already. If it wasn't for that inverter, I would have my power turned on. Okay, guys. So, and let's go back. I'm not, I'm, I will get back to this here in a, in a few minutes. Let's go back in here. This is the first level. I got a bunch of battery there. You guys, you guys will connect this battery. I have a bunch of videos on them. Take it, take it, it tells you how to take it apart. I had to, had to cut it, slice it, and make it to 48 volt, make it to 12 volt, make it to 24 volt. I have all that done. Multiple videos available. Available, guys. So don't forget to subscribe. It helped me. It helped you. I will keep doing what I'm doing. Okay? When you're watching my video, you don't subscribe. That's when you don't want me to do anymore. But the sad thing is I'm doing things that I like. It doesn't matter. But it does help me, though. You know, it does help me. Please continue to help. Support by subscribe. Okay? At the top part doesn't have a BMS because this is where the BMS is. It went down and I don't know what happened. Is I was doing it before. I believe I had this pack and that pack hooked up together. And I put it on. It was working. Okay, the thing was working, so I went back, add more, add more batteries, and it stopped working. No, I didn't plug it in because I, I got all the batteries done, so I said, let me go plug all the batteries. And then when I come back and plug it in, I don't see anything working. But there is no coarse wires because there is no, the reason there is no coarse wire they will make spark the wire will, will blow the wire used as fuse if you if they touch each other it will blow it will be the, it will be the automatic disconnect okay so the bms is not there but this is kicking this one is kicking it's telling me cells number 13 i don't have my tablet here oh my tablet the tablet is here hold on guys let me show you what this look like on the tablet it's always good guys to have to have Bluetooth, everything you can watch it on the phone because you will know. You will know what's going on, guys. This is my tablet. So what I do there, let me close this thing. Okay, I close everything. Now I have it's a JDB. I kind of like it. It's is is the most cheapest thing out there. Now it's telling me what is bad. You see, cell number thirteen. It's always failing. Most likely, I think is missing. Is something is missing there on the pack of the battery. Another way is it doesn't have the full cell. It's only reading half. I mean, two third, uh, two third of it. So that's when I have to unplug everything, look at it, and fix it. Will I do something like this again? I don't know. It depends on the type of battery. Those batteries are pretty good. They're pretty powerful. I thought they were no good because I charged up to 52 and I, my power went down every every 4 o'clock. I, I, I lost power. I'm at 52. I started, I started the end of the day at 52. So when I switched my panel's position, I started reaching 54. When after I reached 54, guys, well, every time I see it, right now I'm at 52. Okay. Once I reach 54, I'm not worried about the battery, guys. It's, you hold. The battery hold by itself. It, it's just, they look, they run marvelous. So, the problem is I'm missing panels. A lot more panels. No, I add this pack here. I add this pack. This is uh, lithium ion. 
That is not complicated. Every cell is a pack. Now, if there's a cell, when I first started on, I, vi- I have a video on that, guys. You can should, you should check out the video. There was a cell, cell number 13. There was a problem on the cell number 13. What happened? There was this problem. I decided, when I noticed this, I take it out of the cell. The cell was zero. I put a new cell there. Easy. Right now, if there's a problem any one of them, it's a lot of trouble. So I prefer to do them like this. That's my preference. Uh, you can tell. Any packs is, mis- is messed up there. Anytime you have a pack of batteries running, and you can't, if there's a problem, you should, you should be able to see it. Because it's going to drain all the batteries down. Like, for example... Okay, guys, I put this thing here. See, I have this cell here. By the way, JDB, BM, JDB, these guys, what you call it? It works, guys. It works. This is pretty good software, and it does balance. It does balance it for you. You see? And look at my cell. My cell uh, 1.2. This thing doing a good job. And this is only one pack. Just notice it. The other pack, I gotta figure out how to fix it. Okay, guys. So let me bring this down. See, you can see that if every if you have a pack of battery. I have a BMS for that also. I have a BMS that I purchased. Unfortunately, they give me more wires, and this thing doesn't work. It doesn't work, so I have a video on that also, guys. And I'm gonna attempt to make it work. They they don't they don't they don't look like they're gonna give my money back. Those people from China, they mail you this stuff. They don't give you and uh, uh, the the print label. You gotta fight with them. They won't give you the money back. I gotta buy a different BMS for this. Okay, folks. But I won't keep you guys too long. Like this is an update of how I'm playing. How am I playing with my going off grid? Because this is better nothing but a game. Because you will have the channeling to do it. I would not advise anybody to do it if you don't know what you're doing. This is nerve wracking. What about electricity? When you this is in the garage, guys. This is in the garage on the corner of my one of my garage. I'm in the on the side of the garage. When you're inside, you don't even think about it. That's why I'm gonna have camera here, smoke detector here. You're gonna have all the stuff, all this, all the stuff to make you safe. Okay, you, if this thing fall, don't worry, guys. This thing is gonna turn on by itself again. Uh, then when they return on by itself again, they will never stop. That fan can go on all day. Okay, and I have a video on that, and it tells you this thing. There is no power, no no voltage. It cut itself off, which is good. But it's still sucking the battery. It's still taking juice out of the battery to run the fan. Why are you on the fan? There's no power going out. It's a major flaw. Let me go ahead and show you the panels. Okay, guys. Those are the first four sets. I need more panels. That's the first four sets. Those sets, they get, I put them against the, the guard. This is the guard. And when I'm done with the testing, I'm going to put them on top of the roof. Okay? And uh, right now I'm on the test mode, so I keep checking stuff. I got stuff to put in there. I got more stuff coming in. So, I need more panels. When I put them in here, just like that, guys, I saw 18 amp coming out of the panels those panels i never get 18 amps at all since i go off grid only those four give me 18 amps now those four that's where they keep them on the floor okay they don't they do not start producing anything before 10 a.m 10 a.m okay the other four they start producing when it's uh when it's seven seven eight they start pushing powers, you know. So you got 18 over there, 18 here. That's 40, 34 amp. I have an AC to run all day. I need to be able to get to pull just 24 amp for that AC when the AC is running. 
So going upgrade is sweet, but it's come with a cost, guys. Until then, don't forget to subscribe. Share with other people.